Hey guys, welcome back to the club. Most people really love a challenge. We see it as chasing something or someone that really gets our blood boiling. And when we finally wrap our arms around our target, it can be the best feeling in the world. But sometimes, men go after women who not only enjoy the chase but like it so much they don't know when to stop. So are you excited to learn when it's time to let her go? Time to tell you which signs you have to pay attention to. Before we dive in, subscribe to join your own club so you don't miss out on future uploads. Her answers are always short. Perhaps she doesn't completely blow you off. Maybe she takes her sweet time getting back to you. But her response to your texts is also something you should pay attention to. If she waits for several days and gives you one-word answers, that is her guilty conscience talking. She doesn't want to hurt you, but also she doesn't want to lead you on. She is just trying to be polite. On the other hand, if she answers within an hour or two, asks questions and makes it easy to continue the conversation effortlessly, then she is probably just making you work for it. She is always busy. Is she constantly declining invitations to hang out? This is a big red flag that tells you she is not playing hard to get, especially if she says she's busy but doesn't offer any other alternative dates. No woman that's into you will make you work that hard. She may make you do all of the hard work yourself by asking her out. Sure, but at some point she will accept the invitation or suggest another time that fits her better. If she seems interested in you but keeps declining a date with you, try the magic rule of three. Ask her out three times if she tells you she's busy. If she's flirting with you but still not interested in a date, give up and move on. She only seeks you out for an emotional relationship. No matter how hard you're trying to get her attention. You seem to only succeed when she is on an emotional roller coaster and wants someone to be in her corner. Whether it is a fight with a friend or a disagreement at work, she will reach out to you only for emotional support and all the other times you'll be on your own. When this is the case, move on. It's not going anywhere. It's been months. You've been consistent about your pursuit for her, and you're probably putting your best foot forward every single day. Yet you're no farther from where you started. Despite trying to have a conversation with her about what you mean to her, you're stuck with the friend's tag and chances are that it isn't going to change if it hasn't till now. She said no. When she tells you she isn't into you like she said it, know that it doesn't mean maybe, and it sure as hell does not mean for you to try harder. If she likes you, she won't skip out on the chance to be upfront with you. And if she's not doing that, it's time to move and invest in someone who will reciprocate your feelings and your efforts. She might be too nice to say no, or maybe a little confused about whether you would be good for her. But you should be smart enough to understand it. Will you want someone half-hearted if you feel so intensely? No. Right. That right there is your answer to when should a sincere man stop pursuing a girl? You are the one carrying the conversation. Despite you making an effort to start a conversation, she just never seems interested with her. She never seems interested or invested. This may come in the form of short replies that are close-ended. This is usually a sign of someone who does not have a high interest in the conversation or the person initiating the conversation. You will be hard-pressed not to find a disparity in the length of messages and replies from her compared to yours. You keep bringing up exclusivity. Any man who is good at attracting women will vouch for the claim. If a woman really likes you, she'll bring up commitment in some form or the other. You won't have to. There will always be a sense of exclusivity in her words or her action. When you find yourself always trying to persuade her to be with you, but to no avail, that means you're chasing her and trying to lock her down. The power dynamic has shifted. When a woman has feelings for you, she will absolutely bring up exclusivity to you. And if she's not, then you'll find yourself being the one chasing after a relationship or commitment. You're not her type. You are Mr. Handsome Mr. Rich and Mr. Perfect. A perfect package. Every girl crushes over you except her. It's simple. Maybe she likes the bad boy types. And you are soft and kind. Maybe she likes her men more macho or less so. And you are the other kind. Maybe she likes her men seriously. And you like to make the mood light-hearted. In short, you may not be the type of boyfriend she is looking for. No matter how perfect you might be, 
she will not show any interest in you because you don't fit into her idea of a perfect man in such cases. Whether you are crazy about her or not doesn't matter because she knows beforehand that it's not going to work. So stop chasing her and move on. You are picking up the wrong signals. You are so lost in your fantasy that everything she does seems like a green signal to you. Even an accidental brushing of her hands will make you think that she is doing it on purpose. You think that every action of hers is a reaction to your feelings, but it is just you who is hyping everything in such cases. It is better to confront her than ask her bluntly. It is better to rip the band-aid off before things get too serious. And you realize that you were wrong from the start. If she wants to be your girlfriend, there will be clear signs of her interest in you, no matter how subtle. In case you haven't been getting any such signals from the girl you're interested in, the writing is on the wall. It's time to stop chasing her. Her phone is more important than you are. To find the answer, pay attention to where you rank on her priority list. She says you are her friend but went out with you. She doesn't leave her phone down at all. She answers all the calls, checks every forwarded message, and maybe even makes unimportant calls just because she doesn't give you the basic attention even that a friend would deserve. If you try calling her in the evening or after work hours, her phone will always be busy. It could be because she is talking to someone she is interested in. You could just be a backup for her if things turn sour with the guy she likes. She wants to keep you away. She avoids any conversation where there is a chance of the two of you talking about a deep relationship. What are her fears? What does she want from life? What are her expectations and her biggest weakness? What are yours? Topics that involve her personal life or conflicts will be off limits. Nor will she ask you questions to know you intimately. Take it as a sign that she wants to keep you away from her personal space in life because she doesn't want you to be a part of it. This is an absolute sign she wants you to leave her alone. Take the cue and stop chasing her. Stay friends if you want, but leave it there. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, write 100% in the comment section. Now, you need to watch the recommended video that you see on the screen. It will show you six powerful tricks bad boys use to captivate women's hearts. Make sure to watch it now. Join your own club. Thanks for watching.